In this class, I'm going to de uh, demonstrate how you can deploy a, the Hello World servlet to an existing Tomcat installation. I have my Tomcat installation in this folder here, DevApps Apache Tomcat. And under that, I have a folder called Web Apps. So I'm going to create a WAR file and deploy it to this Web Apps, Web Apps folder and see whether my application works. So what I do is I go into my Eclipse and first thing I do is in my web.xml I add my servlet name as hello world. I also add the servlet class. The servlet class has to be the full package prefix name for the class. So it is com training dot dot servlets dot hello world. And then I have to map this servlet to a URL pattern. So I'm mapping it to training servlets. So once I create this entry, the next thing I do is I take the classes folder, copy it, and put it in the webbin folder. So now my classes folder contains my hello world servlet in that in that in the path shown here. Okay. Now I'm going to take the contents of this web content folder and package it as a as a war file. A war file is a web archive. So what I'll do is I will go into the place where I have my uh, folder which is in dev workspaces java class training servlets web content and I t select all the files here right click and I go to 7-zip and I say add to archive and here I'm going to call it as training servlets dot jar dot zip sorry because I don't have a war extension here so I'll just choose zip here and then rename it to dot war so once this is created I'm going to rename it to as dot war file and once I have it here I'm going to remove it, uh, cut it from here and put it under my web apps folder so in my web apps folder of Apache Tomcat 7 I go into the web apps folder and paste that war file over here now that war file is created let me uh, also make a small change to my tomcat users.xml and add a manager application so all you have to do here is add the manager GUI as part of my tomcat installation and make sure that I remove I uncomment those lines so now I can use the tomcat user and access the manager whenever a new applic web application is deployed okay so I save this file and then I go back into my tomcat bin folder start a command prompt in this folder so now I have a a command prompt prompt in the bin folder I press the startup.bat and that's going to start tomcat and it's it if you see here tomcat when it starts up it sees the war file and it deploys it it automatically deploys it the default for tomcat is to take every war file in the web apps folder or every folder that's in the web apps folder and deploy it as a war file now that this has been deployed successfully I should be able to open the URL and access the application so I say localhost colon 8080 training servlets hello world and the first name and last name are coming as null so I'm going to enter the first name and last name as Sujit and Kumar and now it shows Mr. Sujit Kumar so now that I've successfully deployed this what I'll do is I'll go into the Tomcat folder stop Tomcat first by pressing Control C 
and now Tomcat has been stopped. I go back into my web apps folder and I no longer need this war file. So even if I delete it, because the war file has been exploded as a directory. So I can still go and delete this war file from here. And and my web application st should still run. So let me start up Tomcat again. And if you see here, the training servlets is already been extracted as a folder from the previous run and it has automatically deployed that as a web application. Now I should still be able to access my UI. I'll do a refresh here and it is still working. Let me see whether if I give if I don't give the first name last name whether it works. That is also working. So everything is working as before. Okay. Now let me access the manager application and and undeploy this application. So you go to localhost 8080 slash manager. And let me it's already logged in. If it uh, prompts you for the username password, the default username password is Tomcat and Tomcat. Tomcat is the username and the password is, Tom, is Tomcat as well. The important thing is in the Tomcat users.xml which is in the conf folder of your Tomcat installation, you need to add this role name called manager GUI and add that manager GUI as a role for the Tomcat username and make sure that all these lines are not commented out. Uncomment them out. Okay. So since I've already logged in, I can see my my application over here. Now I can stop it. If I stop it, if I go back here and refresh it, it will not work. It will say 404 because it has already been stopped. Whereas if I go back and start it, it is started. It has started now. Now if I go back here and refresh this guy you can just press F5 it should continue working. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it and undeploy it. So it's undeploying it Let's see what it says here. So it has undeployed the training servlets. Okay. And the training servlets is gone from here as well, from the list of applications. Let's go and check in the directory folder under web apps. And under web apps, I now see that the training servlets folder is gone. So obviously, if I go and access this URL again, it's going to fail with a 404 because that resource cannot be found. So Tomcat doesn't know what to do with the training servlets. Because if you look at the web.xml, we have said in the web.xml that when you encounter this URL called training servlets, it should go to this servlet called hello world. And that resource doesn't exist anymore because I have undeployed the web application. So this is how you deploy to Tomcat and start and stop the web application and also how to undeploy a web application. So you have learned four things. How to install to a Tomcat installation and how it automatically start uh, starts a web, web application. Then you can st start and stop from the console and once you have stopped it you can also undeploy it. And once you undeploy it, it's gone from the web apps folder. So this was a simple demo of how to, de how to deploy to Tomcat and start and stop your web application.